Number six, in which we do circular convolution directly with the help of command of MATLAB and with discrete Fourier transform. Also for the task, I'll define you how to obtain circular convolution with the help of linear convolution. First of all, let me explain you circular convolution directly with the help of command. In circular convolution, the length of the both signal must be equal. Okay, so here we have defined two signals. The length is same and n1 is the length of x1 and n2 is the length of x2. If n1 is greater than n2, n max is equals to n1 and if else n1, n max is equals to n2 and then add. Here we have done circular convolution with the help of convolution command x1, x2 and n max. Here it is not necessary to use if and else commands as the length of the both signal is equal. But if we, we will give in a, a system in which both the system having uh, both the system does not have same length so n when n max will become equal to the length of maximum signal okay n max should be maximum length and then we have perform a circular convolution it is a coding of circular convolution with the help of dft we have first taken the fourier transform of the output fourier transform of this x1 and the Fourier transform of x2 and then we have taken inverse Fourier transform of y1 and y2. How can we obtain a linear convolution, uh, how can we obtain a circular convolution with the help of linear convolution by zero padding or just by increasing the length of signal from nx plus 1, nx plus nh minus 1. This is the coding to obtain circular convolution with the help of linear convolution we have two signal and their length and then we have convolved it our ny will be from 0 to length y minus 1 and we have used stem stem is used to get a graph in a form of sample and if we write here plot we will get a graph in a continuous form that's it thank you so much